Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Tourist Trophy. Today is episode number 19. If you guys do want to stay up to date with the rest of the Tourist Trophy series, then make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And make sure to check out the links in the description for our socials. We've got Instagram, Discord, and Twitter. But hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so we are back in Taurus Trophy and we are carrying on with the race events. Um, so last time we did the street ones, we're now moving on to the racing modify only. Which for some reason there's only four and then the rest of them are all racing bikes, which makes no sense. But what we're going to do, we're going to do the Sunday and the Clubman Cup today. Uh, just because these are quite short. Um, so first one is a displacement limit of under 750cc, so we're in a 650cc Kawasaki I think, so we have plenty of power behind this. And we're starting off with the Autumn Ring Mini moving to Twin Ring Mategi and then the Suzuka Circuit. Let's go. Right, so we are here at the Autumn Ring Mini and finally we have ourselves a driver lineup. So it's not just a one-on-one -on -one battle. Um, so we got uh, two Yamahas, we got a Honda, and we are in the Kawasaki Ninja. So let's do this. Just had to double check that I wasn't muted. That would have been awkward. So we have four bikes to overtake in what is the most shortest track in this game. We've gotten two very good overtakes there. Oh, careful. There we go. Got to be careful uh, cutting corners because it doesn't work as well as if it was a car. One second behind. Hopefully we can overtake fairly soon. We also need to make sure we don't fall off the bike as well. Because if we fall off, we don't have much opportunity to get back. Oh! There we go. That's much better. Oh, no, no, no! Okay, we did fall off, but we seem to get quite a lot of momentum, actually. That means we have no chance now. This is it. Oh no. The other bike has overtaken us. Come on. Awesome. Come on, come on, come on. All the bikes catching up. We were slow around that last corner, but quick enough to get the win. Lovely. 2 minutes 11.055. That's the quickest race we've done so far. But uh, we also were around the shortest track so far, so could also say that. But that was a very good race there. Do we get uh, bonus bikes as well during these or not really? Let's have a look, see. We got some driver gear. Very nice. What do we get? Two helmets. Awesome. And we got a bike as well. The Honda CB400 4. I don't think that's a racing modify though. It is not a racing modify. Which is so interesting why there's so many bikes that aren't racing bikes and you only have four championships. But next up is the twin ring of Mategi, the uh, oval track. Let's go. All right, we are back at the twin ring Mategi super speedway. We've got two Hondas and two Kawasaki's. Let's go. And we're off. Let's see how well this goes. 
got a one overtake immediately. Let's try and uncrouch and get ourselves as much control around here as possible and then crouch down. There we go. Awesome. Slowing down enough for this corner. Awesome. That is one lap done. On to lap number two. 0 0.5 second lead. 0 0.528 to be exact. Gone very wide and tapped the wall there. Oh. Careful. Here we go. I don't know whether I like the fact that the exhaust sits out like that. I just don't like that style too much. I sort of prefer the exhaust being on the side. I think it looks cooler. Especially when you can see the entire exhaust. That's just like awesome. There we go. Nice corner there. Flowing through very nicely. Let's uh, slam onto the brakes for this one. 3.918 seconds ahead. With a best lap of 40.373, or our last lap. Okay, so that has ruined our chance for best lap on this one. Let's see if we can get a best lap now. Oh my gosh, look how close that was to the outside. That was perfect. Here we go, come on. Go, 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 go. And there we go, across the finish line. 39.9 for that final lap. That was very good. And we came first place, 246.5 overall. Nice. And there is the replay camera. Awesome. Can I quit? Yes, please. Thank you. Let's have a look and see what rewards we get today. Hopefully something cool. New riding gear has been acquired. Two helmets again. I don't think we've got enough heads for that many helmets. Ooh! Triumph Daytona 650. That looks good. But it's not a racing modified, so we can't use it anymore. So it's pointless. But what's not pointless is we are now going to move on to the Suzuka circuit, the East Course, East Side. Let's go. Right, here we go, the Suzuka East Circuit Course. I said that completely wrong, but we're... Let's just get into the race. <laughs> just shut up. <laughs> here we go. This bike is very quick in a straight line. The fact is, there isn't actually a racing bike at the moment that I have unlocked. I don't know if there is more that we unlock. Um, but so far, I don't have a racing bike that is anywhere near the 750 requirements. This is a 680-odd CC, I think. Um, but it still produces 140 brake horsepower. 142. So it's still powerful. Powerful enough that I'm up this guy's ass and he won't move. Messed up my line for that corner, though. That was a very good line through there, though. 
Here we go. One minute for that first lap. Awesome. Nice, nice, nice. I do love these uh, S bends. It's just such a nice corner. The triple S bends is amazing. Only double if you're doing the full circuit, but still. Such an awesome corner. And the entire Suzuka track is like the best track design you can think of. It's a challenging course. Awesome. This is the final lap, so let's see if we can get a best time. No. No, we're going off, we're going off. Yep. Well, we're not going to get a best lap on the final lap, but at least we got a very decent 55.9 lap time. Also, 57.5. Fairly decent though. 2 minutes 53 total time. Awesome. 143 brake horsepower, not 142. And here we go. We got a new bike. Suzuki Skywave 650. Oh, interesting. Oh, that's a moped. That's got 650 cc's in there. Fair enough. Right, so next up, we are going to move on to the next cup, which is the Clubman Cup. And that is a unlimited bike class. So what we're going to do uh, is we're going to jump into the garage. Very quickly, hopefully. Uh, take a look at displacement, because obviously displacement... In fact, should we instead, as it's unlimited, look for a power to weight ratio? So that's a 250, and that's obviously a heavy bike. So I'm guessing the more... That's sort of like a kilogram per horsepower. So that's 8.9 kilos per horsepower. I'm guessing that's what that means. So let's look for a racing bike here. GSX-R. 1,000. That looks like a decent bike to pick. We'll pick that one. Because it's got a lot of power. And we'll probably end up coming back to that GSX-R as well. Because it's only a 1,000 uh, cc. But we can take it for the 6th event as indicated by the blue dot. Here we go. The Clubman Cup. First off is going to be the Suzuka Circuit. Then moving on to Twin Ring Mategi. And then the Midfield Raceway. So let's start at Suzuka for the West Course. West side. Right, here we go. So we are going against Hondas, Kawasaki's, and we are in the Suzuki. Let's see how well this goes. We have a super powerful racing bike right now. Look at that flying past the opposition there. little bit slidey there. That wasn't good. Completely ruined our braking zone for that corner. So, gonna have to watch out in the future for that. Oh, this is amazing. That was so smooth through there. Awesome. 
Right, coming up to the notch right now. I'm dubbing it the iPhone notch because it's unnatural. Nice. Shot the corner big time there. We're gonna try and not mess up the spoon next time, hopefully. Would be ideal. Perfect. And went off on here as well. Okay, at least get this braking zone right. And we have, that is decent. Nice. Perfect. Oh, lovely wheelie that, no. It was a good wheelie. I was showing off a bit too much. Oh well. I'm having fun with this game. Huge amount of fun. There we go, going through the notch. I don't know what that corner is, so that is what we're gonna refer to it as from now on. Right, so on the final lap, we are gonna aim. I say this very loosely. We are going to aim for a fastest lap. Because we've not done very well so far. Awesome. Okay, we got that braking zone perfect there. To be fair, this should be a curve on the outside there for that corner. It seems a bit odd that there isn't one. Because it sort of doesn't give you a reference point to aim for with your driving line. Because curves are like a vital part of driving lines. It's also there to protect the edge of the track for cars that go off. But like, it's such a vital part of driving lines. It's unreal. Right, let's see, are we gonna get a decent time? Awesome. Oh, careful. Very nice. And there we go, across the finish line. 126.4 that final lap. With a 4.32 total time. Awesome. Thumbs up. Oh, that's the uh, wrong button. Very good. Let's see what rewards we earn from that. Hopefully something good. And there we go. We got some riding gear. Helmets again. Yes, of course. Why would it not be a helmet? And we got ourselves a Suzuki Skywave as well. A 650. Again, another Skywave. Fair enough. Can't really complain. It's a free bike. And then next up is the Twin Ring, the Teggy Circuit. The uh, East Short Course. Let's go. Right, so we're going to be going up against uh, two Kawasaki's, a Honda, and our own Suzuki. Wait, no. We are the Suzuki. Oh, wow. Let's do this. This bike is going to be quick around this circuit. 
Probably about 1 minute 20 per lap. Somewhere around that sort of range. This is very good. We got a good overtake off of the first corner there. Rubbish corner there though. I have been playing uh, Forza Most Ball 4 lately, just like off camera, because I don't want to play too many different games off camera that I want to play on videos and finish. Because if I finish a video or finish a game off camera, I don't really then feel like playing it on camera. So I want to try not to finish that. But uh, I didn't realize the Twin Ring Mateki was in that game as well. There are a lot of circuits in Forza Motorsport 4 that are actually in this game as well. Obviously the original circuits in this game aren't because they're Gran Turismo only. But still pretty cool. Just imagine if Gran Turismo and Forza made a combined game. Like that would sell. Awesome. Do a little wheelie. Very nice. 1 minute 33 for that first lap. Awesome. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, horrendous, horrendous. I'm trying to save it. Did I actually just do that? Wow. That was impressive. Here we go, on the brakes. I so hope I win this so that I can have that clip in there, in a video. That bike save was insane. Oh, careful. Very nice. Five seconds ahead right now. Awesome, off we go. Very nice. 1 minute 31.391. 8.6 second lead. Oh. Oh. Corner cuts and a half. Probably against all racing regulations. But. Polyphony never put punishments for corner cutting, so... I forgot these are analog buttons. I wasn't pressing hard enough. I was just like, had my finger on the X button. No wonder we didn't slow down. Awesome. There we go, nice. Oh! Yeah, gone off again. Lovely. Horrible. Very nice though. That was a good win. We lost all that time that we had in the lead, but uh, we got a good finish. GG. And look at that. Lovely finishing camera. Four minutes, 41.8. Very nice. And here we go. Triumph Daytona 650. Awesome. It does look like an... I really like the look of the bike, but I want a racing modified version. So I can actually like, you know, 
use it. That would be recommended. Taurus Trophy, give us one. But um, next up, we are going around the midfield raceway for the Clubman Cup. Let's go. Right, here we go. The final race of the Clubman Cup. We have two Suzukis, one Yamaha, one Honda. Let's go. Obviously, you've got to be very cautious about the final section of the lap. Bear in mind, this is a very powerful bike. It is and very lightweight, it is gonna wanna fall over. Awesome. Now look at the acceleration through there, that is just crazy. The fact that these cups, the Clubman Cup and the uh, Sunday Cup, is one from Gran Turismo, the past ones, which is good to see that they carried that over. <laughs> Jesus, sorry. <laughs> but um, also, as well as carrying that over, they also carried over the uh, unlimited nature of it as well. The fact that you can do whatever you wanted to do. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, what is going on? I'm allergic to this track. Yeah, there's the dodgy corner. Just about managed to hold on. Very decent though. Let's see what our first lap is. Probably 121. Yeah. Alright. We went off road a little bit. Not too much of a problem. Come on, let's do this. Let's get this bike dealt with. Oh, look at that outside overtake there. Absolutely insane. Go, 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 go. the brakes, onto the brakes very hard. Oh. Big mess up there. Just about managed to recover it. Luckily enough, the other bikes were nowhere near us. We're going to get ourselves probably a 120. Maybe a 118 or 119. Yeah. Let's see if we can get a 117 for this one. No mistakes. Staying on the track. Perfect. for that race. Very nice. I am impressed by that. A very good. Very good run there. Bum 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 Oh yes racing modify let's go Suzuki RG250 
Racing modify. Not like we're probably going to use this at all anymore. Uh, but it's a bike. It is a bike. And it is for free. But there we go. That is the Clubman Cup all gold. And the Sunday Cup all gold. Very nice. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button or hit that merch link in the description. And don't forget to check out the description for our social links. We have an Instagram, Discord and Twitter. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Like